I'm here with the happiest man in America, Dave Island, Yankees pitching coach. Dave, you must be delighted with the way your staff's pitching. Yeah, they're doing well, but um, we can't get too comfortable with it. We, we, we just have to keep going, keep rolling. Um, we can't rest on what we've done. We, we have to keep pushing, keep grinding, and keep this thing going. Joe talks a lot, lo a lot about momentum. Are you a believer that pitching becomes contagious and guys feed off the starter the night before? No question. No doubt about it. Just like, you know, hitters will say the same thing. Um, it's a friendly competition between these guys. They, they feed off one another and, and they're all in, in a good stretch right now. But uh, like I said, we need to keep this going. We can't get too comfortable with it and take anything for granted. What is your theory on why those four days at home in Nebraska seem to do Jabba so much good? Well, I, I mean, there comes a point in time when everybody needs to get away. You know, I, I told him after that start in Anaheim, I said, you know, the break's coming at a good time for you. you. You need to go home and recharge your battery, not not so much physically but mentally. And he did. He got away from it. He got to see his son. He, and he just got a, away from the game for a little while. And that, you know, everybody needs that that for a while. And, and not only that, Job has been really been working hard in his uh, in his side sessions on um, on correcting a few things in his delivery and working on some stuff. Um, and it, it's starting to pay off now. And we all have to remember he's just 23 years old he's just learned how to be a starter uh, at this level which is tough uh, you know it's well documented he didn't pitch that much in the minor leagues he came in here as a as a uh, as a one inning guy and really set the bar high for himself and I, and, and I think everybody expects him to be perfect but like I said he's just a 23 year old kid learning how to be a starter and learning how to be a starter at the major league level and in New York so you take all that and in, in, into consideration it's not easy to do what he's done and he's done it very well he revealed last night Dave that there was a little bit of a hitch that he feels like he has cleaned up is that what you're referring to part of the mechanical stuff that's one thing and another thing is, is staying back over the rubber a little bit longer he, when he takes the ball out of his glove he kind of starts and stops back up again number one that affects his command and that affects his velocity uh, when he does that, he either misses up or he tries to compensate for it and rush through and, and he pulls the ball. But he has to keep his hands moving, keep him going, staying back over the rubber. Uh, it not only helps his command, helps his velocity. I think we saw both of those uh, things improve his last two starts. This second half, it just seems Jabba and Andy are so important, their consistency. Can Andy have another of his trademark good second halves, do you believe? Sure he can. I mean, Andy. Andy's been through the wars more than anybody has here. You know, he's he's been through this twice as much as anybody else here. Uh, you know, but you know, Andy and Java starts are important. All our starters. You know, all five of them. I mean, to be a championship caliber team, you got to get quality starts out of all five of your guys, especially this time of year and down the stretch and into the postseason. Um, like I said, everybody's throwing the ball good right now. Um, but like I said, you know, we you, know, you, you can't sit on your last start. You know, you, you, you have to keep going out and reproving yourself over and over again and not get too comfortable with what you've done. With CeCe and AJ, if you're comfortable grouping them together, have they been what you hoped they would be, especially as a one-two punch? Sure. That's why we brought them here. Um, and they're pitching, you know, pitching is advertised. Um, and, you know, it's, it, it's not easy to come in here after signing the contracts they've signed and just, you know, being, you know, being stellar from day one. You know, it, it takes some time. They put a lot of pressure on themselves. Uh, you know, they expect more out of themselves than anybody else does. But uh, they're, they're getting a little bit more comfortable with the way things work here and, and, and getting adjusted to New York and pitching for the Yankees. And, and uh, you know, good for them and good for us. Has Phil Hughes been a revelation to you in this role as a reliever? No, I, I said it last year. I said it the year before when he came up in, in 07. Uh, nothing Phil Hughes does in the baseball field is going to surprise me. Uh, again, a young kid, a young kid, you know. He, he came up here, what was it, 07 with only three starts under his belt in AAA at, at 19, 20 years old, whatever he was at the time. You know, he's matured over the last year. He learned a lot. Uh, from last year when he didn't pitch as well as he wanted to or, or anybody else wanted him to. But that was part of the growing pains. You know, he's busted through that. He's not only matured mentally, he's matured physically. And um, he's taken off. He's comfortable. And, and um, you know, he, he's, he's not one of those guys that says, I want to be a starter. I want to be this. I he just wants to be here. He wants to pitch. He wants to be successful and help the team win. And that's what he's doing. Could Sergio Mitre help lock down that fifth spot? I mean, did you like what you saw in his first outing? Are you anxious to see more of what he has? Oh, absolutely. He's got he's got three pitches. He throws for strikes, and, and none of those three pitches are straight. Ball's diving, moving, 
Um, he just has to attack the zone with that stuff and not try and be too fine with it. Um, you know, what we saw that the other night was good, but it's only, you know, it w it's only a small sample. But uh, Sergio's been around a little bit. He knows, he, you know, he, he knows what it's all about. Um, he's glad to be back. He's glad for this opportunity, and, and we all feel he's going to take it and run with it. Dave Island, we know you have an appointment in the bullpen. We thank you very much for your time. Thank you.